Okay, so the hopper here is, uh, you fill it with dry mix. There's two sleds between the clear cup there. The top one will open, and the, there's a blade inside that will push mix inside to the uh, cup here. It will close, and then when it's time to add mix into the uh, mixer pot here, that lower sled will open, it will drop in, it will fill with water, use the sound waves to measure out the height of the, the volume of water in there. Accurate plus or minus a gram. It's constantly adjusting based on hopper height and based on consistency of the bread. Um, the yeast is measured back there, and it's uh, it's just a little thimble that turns with a cutout in it, so it measures half a gram at a time. And so we can adjust that, or it'll adjust on its own in the next month here as we figure out bread height and kind of just need to adjust. It okay. gets too high, it gets too low. Um, the mixer motor is dry, it's, the amount of current it draws to make the dough ball is uh, we set what we want the current to be pulled, how much current we want it to pull. And if it starts to go above that, we'll add more water. If it starts to go below that, it'll add less water. So the water is just on its own for that. And then when the door opens, it'll hit these sensors and say, okay, the dough ball came out, we'll close up, we'll add the next batch, and it'll form through here and fall into the pan. And then this is about 120 degrees. I think it's about 50% humidity. There's a humidifier in the back that's putting out steam. Those will rise and then there's about 2,500 watts of uh, uh, resistive power in here. Mm -hmm. and it's going to be bake about 380. For how long? Uh, so it's six minutes every. You spend six minutes at every uh, location. Okay. So it's right. It's, I mean, at the top it spends about you know 24 minutes, but the sides gets a little bit. So we say about half hour. Okay. And then once it comes down to here, there's a sensor that looks into that pan and it says, "Do I have a loaf?" Every time it asks, "Do I have a loaf?" And if it does, when that advances that spot. It'll tilt the pan, the tilt will come in, come over here, and it'll it'll drop the loaf into there and then it'll tilt back down. It'll go this thing will go in and grab the loaf out. There's two sensors. One that says the tilter says I have it, one that this arm here says I have it. So when the tilt says I don't have it, this one says I have it, it'll go and place it. In the next available spot, there's sensors on all the trays, so we know which one's not. It stores about 20 variables every time it places a loaf. 